Do you have any trouble keeping track of passwords at work or at home? I know I do, so I built this simple Excel password keeper to help me look up any password when I need it. And what's great is I can just type in what I'm looking for, and I can instantly see the username, password, URL, and any other information that I need. It saves me a ton of time, and I don't have to memorize all my passwords. That said, I made this video to show you how to build the whole thing in Excel all the way from scratch. And if you don't want to spend the time building it, you can just use the link in the description to buy it for $4.95. And well, I think that's it for the introduction, so let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is set up the structure of your worksheet. Start by clicking here to select all of the cells, then right click, select column width, change the size to 30, and click OK. Next, right click on the row headings, select row height, change the height to 20, and press OK. And with all of the cells still selected, change the font size to 12, adjust the vertical alignment to middle, and adjust the horizontal alignment to left. Awesome. Go ahead and select column A and adjust the column width to 5. Then select row 1 and adjust the row height to 35. Then add in a dark blue fill color or a color of your choice. Change the font color to white. Increase the font size to 18 and bold the text. You can then select cell B1 and type in the title of database. That looks good. So next, let's turn the grid lines off by going to View and uncheck the box next to grid lines. Finally, double click on the sheet tab at the bottom and change the name to database. This completes the structure of our first worksheet. So for our second worksheet, let's copy this one by right clicking on the sheet tab, select Mover Copy, Check Create a Copy, and click OK. Now, change the name of the second worksheet to Lookup. And up at the top, change the value in cell B2 to also say Lookup. Great. We will come back to the Lookup sheet later, but for now, let's go back to the database worksheet. Here is where we will store all of our password information. And so, go ahead and select cell B3 and enter in description. Then press tab and enter username. Press tab and enter password. Press tab and enter URL. Then press tab and enter notes. Awesome. Let's now create the table that will store all of the information. Do this by selecting the range B3 through F7. Then go to insert table. Check the box next to my table has headers and click OK. Now the first thing that we want to do now that we have our table is give it a name. So select a cell in the table, click on the table design tab and enter in a name like database. Now let's style the table. Click on the down arrow here in the table styles group and select new table style. Give your style a name, then select the whole table element and click on Format. Under the Border tab, select this light gray for the color, and then use the Outline and in Inside buttons to apply the border. You can then click on OK. Select the header row element next and click on Format. Under the Fill tab, select a light blue fill color or a color of your choice. Then, under the Font tab, change the font style to bold and click OK. That completes the table style, so click on OK again. Now, apply the style by clicking on the down arrow here and select your custom style to apply it. And the table looks good. Next, place your cursor just above the description column until you see this small down arrow. Then click to select the entire column. And with these cells selected, click in the name box here and type in the name description list and press enter. This creates a range name that we will use in just a little bit. 
For now, you can go ahead and add in a little data before we move on. And once you've got some data in there, you can go ahead and navigate over to the lookup page. Now, the first thing that we will do here is set up the formatting to make the page easy to see and work with. That said, start by selecting column B, then hold the control key to also select columns E and H. Then right click, select column width, and change the width to 5. Next, select column C and change the column width of this column to 15. Then select column F and change the column width to 10. From here, select the range B4 through H10 and apply this light gray fill color. Then in cell C5, bold the text and type in description. Next, select cell C7, bold the text and type in username. Then in C9, bold the text and type in password. Then in F7, bold the text and type in URL. And in F9, bold the text and type in notes. Okie dokie, go ahead and select row 8, right click, and change the row height to 10. Now we need to identify the spaces for the results. So select cell D5 and apply this light blue fill color or a color of your choice. And next, select cell D7, then hold the control key and select D9, G7, and G9. Then remove the fill color from these cells. While we're at it, let's add in some borders. Click the down arrow next to the borders button and select more borders. Select this light gray for the border and click the outline button to apply the borders on the outside. Then click OK. Now select cell D5, click the down arrow here, and select more borders. Pick a light blue like this for the color and apply the borders on the outside and click OK. And for our last border, select the range B4 through H10, click the down arrow here, select more borders, select this light gray, click the outline button, and click OK. Awesome, our formatting looks great. So now we just need the functionality. So starting in cell D5, let's create a drop down menu to make it easy to look up the info for a specific record. To do this, click on the data tab in the ribbon and click the data validation button. In the box that appears, under allow, select list. And for the source, enter equals, then description list, which is the range name that we created earlier. After that, just click OK. Now we have a drop down list making it easy to pick what we're looking for. That said, now we just need our lookup formulas. So start by selecting cell D7 and enter the following formula. Equals VLOOKUP function, select the lookup value in cell D5, then press F4 on your keyboard to make this an absolute reference. Then add a comma and for the second argument, enter database, which is the table name that you created on the other worksheet. Add another comma and enter the number two to get back the information from the second column, which in this case is the username. Add one more comma and enter false to force the function to look for an exact match. Then close parentheses and press enter. And that gives us back the username, which is what we wanted. Now to save time, select cell D7 and use control C to copy. Then select D9 and use control V to paste. Select G7 and paste again, and select G9 and paste again. Now we can just slightly adjust these formulas to get the other results. So starting in cell D9, change the 2 to a 3 to get back the password. Then in cell G7, change the 2 to a 4 to get back the URL. And in cell G9, 
change the 2 to a 5 to get back the notes. And for the finishing touch, select cell D5, bold the text, and center it. Then select cell G7, hold the control key, select D9, G7, and G9, center the text, and change the font color to blue. And just like that, you've completed your password keeper for Microsoft Excel. You can change the description here by using the drop down menu to make looking up info very easy. And over on the database worksheet, you can add more information simply by clicking here on the bottom right corner of the table and drag down to expand it. It's really that easy. And with that, I hope you had a blast building this template in Microsoft Excel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for building this template with me, and until next time, I'll see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.